What's up everyone, this is Ray from RaysReef.ca I've been asked a couple of times on my blog to post a video of my dual refugium so this is what I'm doing now I hope you guys like it the drainage pipe from the main system on the second floor basically drains through, through my walls into my basement from there it'll drain into the first section of the sump right here the first section contains my DSB and my Cheeto there's a good amount of Cheeto in there it's I'd say it's roughly about two feet by by one foot I gotta I gotta crop it weekly because a lot of it grows and grows fast um, my Cheeto and and my DSB is basically what's uh, what's keeping my phosphate and my my nitrates uh, right around zero or un undetectable with my test kits. I've tried both, uh, I, actually I tried three test kits, API, um, Instant Ocean, and uh, what's the other one? Oh, anyway, I forget, but I tried three of them and they're all at zero. So the first sump, or the first part of the sump, drains into the second part right here. This is what's holding my skimmer, which is a Vertex N180. It's a pretty good skimmer uh, for the price. I have a total of about 80 gallons, 90 gallons of water, so it's doing a pretty good job. Uh, it just emptied out this morning, so. Uh, this is a return pump. It is a Mag Drive 18. It's basically opened up all the way. Yeah, it's keeping my levels pretty steady. I run a RODI system that fills up a five gallon reservoir which drains from this quarter inch blue tube right here it goes all, runs all the way down to all, where my pump is and it auto tops off the system uh, via gravity feed a lot of folks don't, don't like this kind of setup um, they say that it'll, it'll get clogged up with salt creep I've been running this for over two years and it's been trouble free never had to remove the valve never had to clean it uh, levels are always perfect and top offs always work out pretty good so no issues there here's a look again the whole system they're basically two 33 gallon tanks uh, this this tank is holding I'd say right around 25 gallons of water this one's holding maybe a little bit under 20 gallons of water I dose via DRS pumps uh, these pumps can I think they're pulling out about 1.3 milliliters per, per minute I dose calcium, alkalinity, and magnesium. Um, I used to dose bionic, I don't do that anymore, I make my own. Uh, if I'm following uh, Mr. Farley's uh, two-step, uh, two-part recipe rather. I also run a Corellia 4 in my Cheeto, my Cheeto section. That's about it. It's, uh, I built it on a five foot stand this way I can be closer up to the to the main tank so I don't need I don't need a massive pump my 18 is doing the job for now anyway here's a top view that's about it oh I'm also running a phosphate reactor I use uh, Kent carbon change the carbon about once a month all right thanks for looking and don't forget to have a look at my blog raisereef.ca thank you